So Dr. Winter, there is one element of child psychiatry that many people don't really like to discuss, but it affects so many children and their families, and that is the elimination disorders. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, the elimination disorders include enuresis, which is wetting oneself, and capricis, which is soiling oneself. Children are generally potty trained by age three. They may tend to wet the bed uh, for months or even a year or two after, but by age five, most children uh, stop bed wetting as well. So what is enuresis, technically speaking? To meet criteria for a diagnosis of enuresis, uh, the child has to be at least five years of age, has to wet the bed, uh, wet, wet themselves two times a week for three consecutive months. And what is encopresis? Encopresis uh, is diagnosable if a child simply soils themselves once in three months, who's at least four and above. Interestingly, parents may not necessarily bring a child who has that problem in uh, to get help either, because it is a bit embarrassing. Well, that's understandable. Sure. So what kinds of other problems can these disorders lead to? Children will often develop anxiety, low self-esteem. I mean, these are common problems. And sometimes those two things can actually exacerbate the elimination disorder. So when treating a child with elimination disorders, uh, where do you start? The first thing, like in medicine in general, is we start with a thorough history. We need to know how old the child is. Does it happen, for example, during the day or at night? I want to know about the frequency. Was there a time period when the child was symptom-free? Are there any other psychiatric symptoms that may be unrelated? What kind of treatment is available for disorders like these? First, we have to rule out possible neurological or physiological causes. Once that's done, then we go about uh, treatment. Treatment includes behavioral therapy, cognitive therapy, supportive therapy, family therapy, and education so they understand what this is about. Wow, so there really is a lot that you can do to treat it. And it's not just a treatment, it's, it's to work towards a cure, is that correct? Parents should realize that there is hope these disorders are treatable, they are fixable, and to uh, be embarrassed is only going to block treatment from happening, and it really does more harm than good. And it's not as uncommon as people might think. Absolutely. And the treatment works. Absolutely. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Allie.